Good morning everyone, it's Karen Hewson here, your productivity and system strategist coming at you from Wellington, New Zealand and I help creative mompreneurs to simplify, systematize, no, simplify, streamline, automate and outsource all those four things so they can systematize their business activities to grow their business while putting their lifestyle first because that's why we create our businesses, isn't it? To put our lifestyle first and create freedom and flexibility that we wouldn't have at our normal nine to five. So today I want to talk to you about one particular thing that keeps coming up with some clients of mine and I think it's a total productivity myth and that's that you have to have one planner, one to-do list or one project management tool otherwise you're not being productive and you're missing something. Um, which is just not true. I feel like there's this holy grail of, you know, somewhere out there, there's that perfect planner for me. There's that perfect tool that if I just can find it, it'll revolutionize how I work. Um, unfortunately, that's not true either. <laughs> but um, I want to reassure you that, you know, you can have multiple project management tools, to-do lists, and I'll give you a few examples. And it's all about I'm going to, I say this all the time, finding what works for you and knowing how it works together. So let's talk about one example and that might be that you work with clients in their businesses. So one of the things that I often do with my systems program is um, I might work within um, a whole service that they have and break that down into process maps and figure out where they can optimize it. So when I'm working with people like that, um, it's really helpful to work in their environment and have a nice little um, outline of what we're going to do working together and when there's stuff that I come up with that they can improve, I can put it down and assign it to them right away and they can take action on it um, like in between calls and stuff like that. So if you work with people um, on a one-on-one -on -one type basis or you know, you're a VA or an online business manager who works with people, you might find that you have a project management tool that you use for your clients. Um, and that's, that's great, that will work perfectly. You can have your client communication in there as well. So in the different chat or conversations um, areas rather than having it all in email. But you might find that for you personally, you don't you don't love that tool for organizing you, for organizing your business. It might not work the way that you think. So um, maybe you really love Trello, um, but you know that a lot of your clients struggle with it because often I find Trello, um, which is that board based tool with lots of like note cards you can move around. That works for people who are really visual um, and I think it's kind of a, a love it or you just don't get it type of thing. So if you love that and you know you want to use that for managing your own business, then do that. Um, you want to have those purposes for each tool though. So you don't want to be managing some client projects in one tool but most of them in the other. Make sure that you have those dividing lines so that you know you use Asana to work with clients and you use Trello to work um, to organize your own business. The other thing as mumpreneurs and solopreneurs, we often have our own personal stuff that we've got going on that we need to manage and organize in alignment with our business activities and our business meetings. Um, and you know, that doesn't necessarily make sense to have in your project management tools or um, in your business planners. So that's another thing where um, it's a really blurred line for us. So you can still you can have all of them this is like <laughs> the ultimate message here is you don't have to have one what you do need to have is a purpose for each tool because you don't want to be duplicating effort that's the main I think reason that this myth is perpetuated and it's true you don't want to duplicate your effort and you want to know that you go to one place and do things a certain way for your clients for your own business for your personal activities um, all, yeah, so all that to say, if you're not clear on what tool to use and what's a best fit for you for those different types of areas, then yeah, you need to have, you know, do some work in those areas. The key to tying it all together is to have that weekly or daily type of planning routine. So maybe at the beginning of a week or the end of your end of your current week, you plan for the next week. And you know you need to go and have a look in the project management tool you use for your clients. Or maybe you need to go and look at um, all of the orders you've got coming up for next week. Wherever you need to go to see those things, 
um, you know that's one place you need to check when you're planning out your week you also know that you need to check the tool or the to-do list you keep for managing your own business so you're it's that weekly planning or even monthly planning that you start drawing um, tasks and activities from these other places so you end up with like a short-term managed weekly or daily list and then the longer term planning and management of these other things in these other tools um, I hope that all makes sense. I'm sort of jumping around because my brain's like firing <laughs> all over the place. The other tool that I really love um, is called a bullet journal. And all that is is a pen and paper. Woohoo for pen and paper, right? Sometimes we just need something super tactile to get our ideas down, especially when everything's feeling out of control. Because when you use an online tool, it's got an inbuilt structure. And I feel like um, for myself and for a lot of people, when things are all over the place, um, you can't think about it in a structured way first to then put it in a tool that's structured. You need to brain dump. You need to just put everything out in a really flexible, movable way. You know, cross it out, draw arrows, make a mess of a piece of paper to get all those thoughts in order. Then once you've got it in order, you can often, you know, put it back into a tool. So often I tell people when they're starting to develop, um, you know, the regular routines that they're going to do for their week, every business, uh, every business, <laughs> the activities they're going to do for their business every week. That's what I'm trying to say. Start with pen and paper um, because you can you can every week you can draw a new layout if you're using a bullet journal or you can um, tweak your process and then once you've got a system in your pen and paper or your journal that works well then you can put it into a project management tool or an online tool and that's exactly what I did um, with Asana that I use for managing um, all of all of my my work, my business, um, is that I used the bullet journal layouts first and did like a weekly rolling to-do list in that, planning and playing and experimenting and tweaking until I got to a place where I was doing the same thing every week. And then I could put it into um, Asana and I knew that when a task popped up on a certain day that I was confident that that was the action I needed to take to fit the bigger picture. Because sometimes it's really hard to see and analyze the bigger picture um, of these processes when again they're in a tool and you're just getting random tasks popping up on different days so that's one thing to keep in mind and I've come back to that right now um, I had a really good system working with my uh, marketing strategy and all my business activities so everything was in Asana I'd moved away from pen and paper again um, but then last month I threw out my marketing plan and decided I was going to do these Facebook live videos for you um, every day I was working four days a week. So that meant that all of the tasks and different activities I had in Asana from my previous strategy weren't relevant anymore. So when I would go into my daily list in Asana, I'd see all the stuff that I knew kind of wasn't that important or didn't fit with where I was going now. But it did still have some tasks for client follow-up and, um, you know, just reminding me to try tackle my inbox and different things. So there were tasks around other areas of my business that Asana was still reminding me of to do on a regular basis that I needed to keep aware of. But as a daily to-do list, it was, you know, busy with stuff that I didn't need to be focusing on. So what I did was I went back to pen and paper, and this is while I'm developing this new system, went back to pen and paper and wrote out everything I needed to do this week. Um, and I can actually show you what it looks like if I can find that page. It was really, really simple. I was like, what on earth do I need to do? And I had, you know, Facebook Lives is my, you know, primary strategy. And if I don't do that first, then nothing else gets done or it doesn't get done for the day. Um, I needed to follow up with existing commitments. So that's when I went into my calendar. I went back into my project management tool and I pulled out all those existing commitments and I planned that out. And I didn't just think, OK, I've got you know, an hour meeting with a client today, I thought, okay, I need to do prep for that meeting. I need to do the actual meeting and then I have some follow-up or a write-up to do afterwards. So, you know, make sure that um, when you're drawing things from other sources, you're thinking about all the activities you need to do for them. 
And then right at the end, um, I said, okay, so I've got my Facebook Lives, I've met my current commitments, what are my income generating activities I'm doing today? And those were kind of the three um, groups that I talked about. So that's what I did, you know, blank piece of paper, um, figure out an experiment with the strategy you're um, implementing at the moment, look to those other sources of information like your calendar, like a project management tool, and pull them all together. So, you know, daily or weekly, you're working off one list, but you've got different tools that work well for different people in the different situations on a longer term basis. Another example just to try um, sort of make that really clear for you is that um, in your own personal life it might be that you have a shared Google Calendar with your partner. So you know you, <laughs> you whenever they mention that oh there's this thing I want to go to next week on an evening you jump at them if you're anything like me and go put it in the calendar, put it in the calendar. If you want it to happen put it in the calendar. Um, that's what I say to my husband all the time. I'm like, yeah, that's fine. Do we have anything in the calendar? Um, so that I don't have to keep it all in my brain. So we share that calendar and um, we make sure that everything's in it from our, um, that we want to do, that we're doing together, etc. So it's really good for longer term planning. What have we got next week? And for sharing information, you know, what have I got going on um, that he needs to be home for to look after our daughter and stuff like that. But then on a daily basis or even a weekly basis, sometimes I have, um, you know, a paper list where I look at our calendar and go, okay, this is what we've got going on. So I know that if I'm baking a cake for his birthday like I did last week, that I need to do it on um, Thursday, not Friday, because we've got other stuff happening on Friday and it's not going to work. Um, so you might not be that organized in your personal life. I don't know. That's <laughs> I'm very organized. But that's a good example I think that a lot of people have from a personal perspective is that they have an online calendar that they share and use for longer term planning. But then they might also have, um, you know, a to-do list on their phone or a scrap piece of paper for that day that you're like, okay, today I need to make sure that these things get done. And you're drawing that information from the longer term planning source. Okay, I hope that helps and makes sense that you don't have to have one planner, one project management tool to like rule them all and work for you and transform your life. Um, you need to find what works for you in those different situations and just have a process and a system for pulling that information together. So think about think about that. Think about the, the short term planning for today to make sure you get done all the different things you need to on your different projects and activities, but then how you have that overview and that longer term management of each of those projects and activities. If you've got any questions, like usual, pop them into comments. Um, and like I said, this came up from uh, a talking with a couple of my clients where they had multiple things and it felt really disorganized. And it really just took a bit of discussion about, you know, how they worked with people, what suited them, what suited their clients, what they needed to do to figure out that they could still use, like, most of, not all, but some, some of the tools they had um, and just get really clear on the purpose and where those lines were. So yes, use this for clients because, and you need to communicate X, Y, Z with them so that they know how to work with you. Use this other one for your own personal management of your business, but every week make sure you're drawing in from those sources. So um, yeah, if this is still a big mess in your head and you're like, okay, I see how this could be different, but I don't know how to get there, then that's where I can help you out. And um, I've put the link up there to my work with me page. So just click on over there. I've got a 90 minute get focused session which is a really good amount of time to dig into what you're doing now, what tools you're using, why you're doing it that way, and you know, streamline it down, simplify it and streamline those first two steps so that you can be maybe not using just one tool, but you've got a couple tools you know how to use in a particular way to fit you, your business, and your clients, because that's what it's all about. Let's make it easy. Let's make it work for you. So go check out my Work With Me page if you want just me to do it for you, because that's what I love to do. Um, otherwise, if you've got any other questions about this, about your own setup, um, then drop them in comments, and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks very much, guys.